Maybe it's just me. Now, across the northwest today, hundreds of schools have been coming to terms with the news that their modernisation plans have been halted. The government stopped the Building Schools for the Future programme in its tracks yesterday in a bid to save billions of pounds. Opponents say the cuts could affect the prosperity of entire neighbourhoods and in Liverpool the affected schools are discussing if and how they can fight back. Andy Gill has spent the day in some of the schools now facing a very different future. Archbishop Beck School in Liverpool specialises in music and performance. It had plans for a £30 million rebuild. So it's very, very busy, very, very crowded. Plans that have now been scrapped. The initial reaction is devastation. I mean, we've spent thousands of hours on this. We've been working on this project for about 18 months to two years. We would have had, like, better equipment and it would have been more modern. For it just to stop, like, just... Just like that, after we've worked so long and hard for it, just disappointing. Councils across the North West face the disappointment of not getting new schools. But here in Liverpool, they say the new buildings would not just have improved education, they'd also help regenerate the neighbourhoods, in many cases, areas which desperately need improving. Some of them were going to have health centres attached, community libraries attached. They were opening their doors even more than they do now, so that the community was part of that. There were centres of learning. You've got here, you've got all the sports and the performing arts side. All of that is just gone. The dream's gone. Pupils at Bankfield in Widnes helped design what would have been a new joint mainstream and special school, but they've been cut too. Deflated and... To be really honest, they, I don't think it has really sunk into them that it isn't going to be a reality anymore. The coalition says the previous Labour government's plans were too dear and too wasteful. An architect who works on new schools says designers and builders will also feel the effect of the cuts. Private sector jobs pretty much stopped about two years ago, uh, but lots of people uh, then moved their resources into public sector work, schools, hospitals, um, you know, and the worry has always been if that work stops before the private sector picks up, uh, there's going to be a very little work around for everybody to work on. Liverpool plans to send pupils to lobby Parliament within weeks. Andy Gill, BBC Northwest tonight. A woman from